another banger. Make a call, make a bong, 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 make a call, make a see, but the bong, 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 your body, the car, make a bong, 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 on a man, get it. Ah, kill of it, I'm a dead jug of death. Hey guys, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nate Panda and in today's video we are doing 20 luxury items under a thousand dollars. There's maybe two possibly three things that are a little more than a thousand not buy too much and the reason why i want to provide this for you guys is because when i first started buying higher end items i was so scared i have money trauma and i'm afraid to treat myself but there are so many things that you can buy that aren't a thousand dollars or nine hundred dollars there's items that are fifty dollars a hundred dollars that are still luxury or still give you the luxury feel so this is a great entryway for anyone who's looking for something to treat themselves if you're looking to buy a gift or any of those things I've talked enough, let's go ahead and get into the items. For the items, we are going to be going in the order of highest price to lowest price, and I'll also include the chapters below, just so you guys can follow along if you wanna to jump to a specific price point. So the first luxury item that I'm going to be showing you guys is this Gucci bucket bag. This is, I believe, the Gucci Marmot bag. Honestly, this is my everyday bag. Because it is a bucket bag, it is super easy to wear. And if you are someone that's plus size, the straps are long enough to where it still feels comfortable on you. I will insert a picture of me wearing this in an outfit just so that you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. The gold on this is not real gold, I don't believe, but this is the perfect everyday bag. The cost of this as of right now is $11.50. I believe when I purchased it, it was $10.50. So the price did increase, and that's something that you can keep in mind when it comes to luxury items, is that most likely the items will appreciate. So it is an investment if that helps you to like kind of tell your man or just convince yourself as to why you're getting it. It's a good investment piece. The prices will always go up, and if you do decide to resell it, you can get it for either the same price that you purchased it for, if you keep it in great condition, or even a little bit more. So love this, 10 out of 10 recommend this bag. The next item is $1,050, so a little bit over budget, and it is the Dior Dior Act Slide. Now, these slides were a staple for me, especially in the summer. I'm going to put them down now because I don't want shoes in my face, but I also insert a picture of me wearing this, but these were a staple for me in the summer, particularly because I am someone that has wide feet, and with wide feet, nine times out of ten, the luxury shoes that are available on the market simply will not fit. So if you have wide feet, you'll actually be able to pull the strap off and on the sandal, and you can customize it to fit your foot area, so whether your feet are wider than normal or if they are less wide than normal, you have control of how the shoe fits on your foot which I actually love the third item is very similar it is the Dior revolution slide and this cost $750 with this shoe it has the same functionality as the other one as you can control the strap so that if you need to make it bigger or smaller you have the ability to do that the only thing I will say with these shoes is that the sole is more of like a rubber so it is more flexible however it's still comfortable I still wear this with outfits but I feel like these shoes are more suited for like beach days or if you are going to be out in the summer and you just want to relax and you want something super comfortable but if you're going to an event and you need something more upscale or if you just want shoes that are more like stronger then I wouldn't necessarily recommend these but I didn't personally mind them and I honestly got my cost per wear because these were shoes that I wore every single day because they're just so comfortable whether you're running errands or whether you're going out the comfortability is amazing 10 out of 10. Now, this next item, it caused a frenzy, okay, because there are some people who don't believe in purchasing anything that is essentially costume jewelry, and I get that because is costume jewelry really a good investment? Not necessarily, because you can't really resell it. It's not real gold plated, it's simply costume jewelry. But let me tell you, I like what I like, okay? I like what I like, and these earrings, I've probably worn them 715 times, so I got my $715 cost per wear with them. And these are the Louis Vuitton hoop earrings. Now, I personally love, love, love these. I do not regret this purchase one bit. I saw them all over social media when they first came out, and it probably took me six months before I pulled the plug, and I do not regret it. In fact, I would probably buy these again if I had to. So if you are someone who doesn't mind wearing gold that is considered costume jewelry, and you feel like you would get your cost per wear from this, I love this and 10 out of 10 recommend. But if you're more of a real gold girl, this one is not for you. 
The next item is the YSL card holder and this retails for $445. This was my first no, it wasn't my first, but this was one of my first items that like I picked up mainly because one, I was not going to buy a bag. I was so scared to invest in a bag and I just wanted to see the quality of the leather and see how it held up. And honestly, guys, I use this every single day. This is my go-to item to hold all of my money, all of my cards. It has a lot of placement so that you can put multiple cards inside. And what I can say is that when you first get it, it is a bit more rigid, but the more you just add your cards in and pretty much stretch it out, the more it will stretch. Um, as far as the quality of the gold on this, it is nice, but I can say, if I'm being honest, I do see a little bit more wear and tear. You can see essentially the gold coating coming off in the small corners. Could that be because I'm just rough and I bring this with me everywhere? Yes. Um, and so with this type of investment, you can ask yourself, do you want to get the card holder that's a little bit more affordable so that you can still have the quality of the leather, but not necessarily the quality of the gold? That's up to you to, that's for you to determine, but I love this and I feel like it's super functional. I take it with me everywhere I go. It's small enough to fit in my bags, my pockets, so I love this. The next item that I have is actually a dress. And if you are plus size, first of all, you know, the regular brands don't even be wanting to make our size, let alone luxury brands. But I do have a few luxury brands here, specifically two, and they're both black owned that have items that go up to a size 3X that look beautiful. The first dress is from Hanifa, and it is this beautiful two-tone gown dress, and it retails right now for $399. I'm actually gonna insert the clip right here of me wearing this dress. With this material, it's not super heavy, but it's also not super thin. I feel like you can definitely get away with wearing this in the summer, and you can actually get away with wearing this in the fall or the spring. In the winter, it might be a bit shaky because it's not a thick knitted material. It's more of a lightweight knit material. It is super, super, super long. I am 5'8", and this touches not just the ground, it goes below the ground. So when you're wearing this, you can confidently wear heels, especially if you are tall, and know that you will still get that beautiful, elegant length. It is a low back cut. Um, and so you just have to be careful with the bra that you wear. Typically when I've worn this, I wore it when I went to Paris with L'Oreal. I actually had them tuck, take the dress and tuck it into the bra just so that you wouldn't see the bra as much and it still looks beautiful. It is a lower cut on the front, so you just wanna keep that in mind when it comes to wearing it, but I love this dress. I would buy it five times over and I hope that more brands actually provide clothing that go up to a size 3X, 4X, or 5X and just make the sizes that they have available more inclusive. The next bag, I feel like, is what put Coach back on the map. You already know I'm talking about the Coach Pillow Tabby. Now, this bag retailed for $395, and this was the bigger inch. I believe it's, this is the 18. One thing I have to say about Coach is the quality of the leather for me. Like, I have done some things to this bag. I did not take care of it like the best way possible. I've gotten makeup stains on it. I've been outside when it was raining and it still has held up. All you need is like a damp towel to wipe it off and it comes off amazingly. And that is something that Coach is known for, the quality of their leathers. So I really love this. If I could go back, I do think that I would've gotten the smaller one just because I am a smaller bag girl or I feel like I'm a smaller bag girl. I don't wanna anything that's too bulky um but i can get a lot of things in here i can fit my camera when i'm vlogging my phone my wallet everything can go in here and it does have two straps a shorter strap and then a longer strap i'll also insert some pictures of me when i wore this out so if i had to go back and buy this again i probably would but i would just get it in the smaller size and probably get a few more colors because don't go to come back okay do not call it a comeback the next item is another piece of jewelry, and this is the JBW Mondarin watch, and it retails for $345. Now, JBW knew what they were doing because they tapped all of the YouTube girlies that I believe we all probably watched in order to sell these watches, and it works. When the girls are like, oh, it has 16 real diamonds, I'm like, oh, okay, it's 16 real diamonds, and it's not thousands of dollars. I'll take two, please, and I actually did get two. I have the gold one, and then I have the silver one, just because I feel like you can't really go wrong when it comes to having the standard silver and gold for all of your jewelry needs. I do have on my wish list the mixed metal one because I saw Miss Jamima wearing it and it looks so good. I love these watches. Like I feel like they go with everything. They're not super gaudy, 
So I think that this would be a good piece to get if you are looking to get a more elevated watch. The next three items are from the same brands, but they do range in prices from $250 to $300, and the brand is none other than Brandon Blackwood. The first bag of his that I have here is the larger size trunk, and this, this is in the cow print. I just feel like this is so fun and so cool, but again, I wish I would have gotten the smaller size because sometimes when I try to pair this or wear this, I feel like it's a little bit too bulky or too big, but the good thing is that it can fit a lot of things. I actually wore this on the day where I hung out with Jimmy and in New York City, um, and it's just super cute. Like, I feel like this is perfect for the fall. It's perfect for the summer. It's perfect for the winter. You can wear it through every single season, and it does actually feel a bit textured. Like, it doesn't feel flat, so I really do love that. The quality of this bag is amazing. The other two bags that I have are also trunk bags, and these are closer to the $250 and $300 range. So this one is this metallic blue bag, y'all. Like the color, the color, like the color is not doing any justice right now, but this bag is everything. And I love that it has the gold hardware on it so that you can pair together your gold jewelry. Love this bag. It does fit my phone, my wallet, just the basics of what I need of gloss. It's not gonna fit a lot of things, but on a night out, I'm good to go if I have this bag with me. And then, I have it in pink okay pink is my favorite color if you guys did not know and this one also comes with the silver hardware so that if you are a silver hardware girly you can have this to wear with you again love the size i feel like it looks really cute and dainty and just on a night out like you look like that girl you feel like that girl and i love that it's a black owned brand so if you're also specifically wanting to spend your money if you're getting a luxury item on a black owned brand Definitely recommend Brendan Blackwood. I feel like the prices are pretty good and they're pretty accessible to a lot of people. The next item is another bag from Coach and it is this Coach fur bag. Now, I don't know if you guys saw the Fendi baguette. If I have it, I'll put a picture up here, but I was not spending $3,000 on a Sherling bag. Like, I just was scared. Um, and so instead I was like, okay, I like the look of the Sherling. I like the colorway of the Fendi bag. And I saw that Coach had it. At the time that I purchased this, it was actually less than $200. But online right now, it's retailing for $70. So if you are able to find this, if you're able to see it in stock, it is typically available on the Coach Outlet website. And it's $70. It is super cute, especially for the fall and winter. I have a video where I tried this on with the all black outfit. So I'll insert it here as well. But I love this bag. And I definitely want to get more wear out of it next fall and next winter. But definitely recommend checking out Coach when it comes to purchasing quality higher-end items. When it comes to luxury purchases, I feel like you can't forget about fragrances. And this fragrance is Apple Brandy by Killian. It retails for $230. And y'all, this smells so good. I know everyone recommends Angel Share, but I'm more of an Apple Brandy girl. Like, this scent for me is everything. And I feel like anytime that I wear it, anytime that I spray it, I just feel luxurious. I feel like I smell good. It makes me feel like I look even better because the scent is just doing what it needs to do. It's sensual, it's feminine, and I really, really do like it. And it's super pretty. Like this is something that if you wanted to put on your nightstand or if you wanted to put on your desk, it just gives more of an elevated feel because of the actual packaging. So I love this. Definitely recommend this as a fragrance if you're looking for something to shop that is a bit more higher end. Continuing on with luxury clothing, these next items are also from Hanifa. The two-piece set retails for $1.99 as a set, and the corset retails for $1.59. The two-piece set is this super thick knitted two-piece. This is perfect for the, the fall, I would say, and the winter when the seasons are transitioning. As you see me wear it, it is very, very thick, like I said, and you can see that up close. It is long. Please don't make the mistake I made. I feel like, you know, when you get luxury items, you have to be more careful and just have more patience. And I'm the type of person when something is dirty, I just wanna wash it and go. This is not supposed to be washed. Once you start buying things that are 
more money, you might have to just get them dry cleaned or hand wash them just to make sure that they don't shrink. Because when I did wash this for the first time, it did shrink, it did mess up a little bit of the stitching, but that is all my fault because the instructions do say not to wash them in a washing machine or dryer. When you see me put it on, it actually looks like it got a little bit longer and it still fits me really, really good. I'll insert a different clip just so you guys can see how much longer it used to be when I wore it, but I love the fit of this and I feel like even if you are a size 4X, you could get away with the 3X because the fit of this is much more oversized. I paired this with the Anaya corset from Hanifa as well. Now with this corset, tread lightly. And the reason why I say tread lightly is once I wear it, it looks beautiful. I love the fit of it. I'm gonna start clips of me wearing it out. I've worn it multiple times. I have absolutely gotten my cost per wear. However, it does bunch up a little bit and the shaping of it can change depending upon what you're wearing. I don't know if it's because of the wires or the material, but the shaping of it does change. And I know that that can be something that some people don't like, but it still looks good to me. And I still want it, I still love it. And they have it in black and purple. And when the black one comes back in stock, best believe I'm adding it to cart. So I recommend it. Shout out to Hanifa because that is right now one of the few luxury higher end brands that have sizes depending upon the material that can fit me as someone that is a size 3x now some of the pieces are marked as for 3x but when i put them on they absolutely do not fit so i do wish or i do hope that there is more standardized sizing in her line in the future um or that she extends it even more but for a fact there are pieces there that you can find just make sure that the material is stretchy and you will have good luck with shopping with them now the next luxury item is $150 and that I feel like should be a giveaway. It was my first luxury bag. It is from a black owned brand and you should have known I was talking about the Talfeezies, okay? Hold on, the Talfeezies. Like you should have known I was talking about Telfar. I love my Telfar bags. I purchased this one and this one was gifted to me. Um, I love, love, love just like the chocolate detailing of the bag. I have had this for almost a year now and it still holds up. Honestly, my only complaint when it comes to these bags, we need longer straps, okay? The plus size babes, this is choking us. This is not giving us cross body. It's giving, we can only carry it dainty like this. So I do hope that they do come out with either adjustable straps or just longer straps in general. That's like my only complaint. But other than that, I do really, really like the bag. Now, whether or not people think that this is a good long-term investment that's really up to you because i have seen some discourse of people saying that the leather wears off or they're just not satisfied with the quality of it to be honest for me i like this because it still is more sustainable and it's a black owned brand and it's more than the standard price of a handbag if you get it from a fast fashion place so i feel like if you want an introductory luxury item you can still get the Telfar. Just know that it's not real leather. Like that's something that you just need to know for yourself. But other than that, I don't like regret this and I would recommend it to anyone. This is a perfect to give to like your nieces or your younger sisters who want to be that girl, but who don't have YSL budget. Like this, amazing. The final outfit items are two dresses. One I'm actually wearing already, and the other is this one, and these are the Woods by Jordan Woods dresses. If you're on TikTok, you saw the scene that this caused, but I'm gonna be the one to tell you, the dresses are amazing. I give them a 10 out of 10. The mesh is beautiful, it's sturdy, it's durable. I don't feel like it's going to rip when I'm putting it on. On the actual body of the dress, the mesh is double lined. And then on the arm of the dress, it is single lined. Um, I love the color, I love the quality. I wore the blue and red dress when I went to my agency brunch and so many people stopped me, so many people said it looked beautiful, so many people loved it. And it's also at this point one of those items where when you wear it, people know that you're wearing was by Jordan Woods. So I feel like it just, it gives that girl in again, her size could it be more inclusive, of course, all brands could be more inclusive, but the fact that it goes up to a 3X and it's a true 3X and not a junior 3X really impressed me. It looks so good on, I got it in both colors and I personally am curious to see what she comes out with next. As long as she continues to be inclusive and continues to provide quality items, I would definitely be a customer. It ships fast. It looks good on, you can style it multiple ways. They are staple pieces to have. So if you are questioning or on the fence of whether or not this is a good investment piece, I definitely think it is. And it does retail for $123.
And then the last two items are in the same category, but they are by different brands. But the price range is typically the same, and they are going to be sunglasses. Now, these sunglasses typically range, or they typically go for $75. The first one that I'm talking about is from Desi. Now, these glasses, I have probably worn 75 times. I feel like these are my go-to shades when I'm wearing outfits. I'll insert some clips of me wearing it out. But it fits my face. I'm very particular when it comes to sunglasses because I feel like a lot of them don't fit my face and don't look good on me, but these actually do. And they have held up. I've had them for about two plus years now and they look good, they feel good. So if you're looking for luxury, entry, entry level luxury glasses, then I do recommend these. And also, how can I talk about Desi and I talk about Lorve? I mean, it's giving, okay, Ziara did that. She absolutely did. I have, or I purchased her full line of her second drop, I believe, and it comes in so many different styles. I really, really, really do love them. The quality as well are super amazing. I haven't had these for as long, so I can't speak to the durability, but so far they do feel good, they look good, and you're supporting another black owned brand when you do shop with Lorbe. So I love these and think that these are a great entryway if you want to get higher end sunglasses. All right guys, and that is it for the 20 plus luxury items that you can find or that you can shop with that are under $1,000 or really like under $1,200, sorry for the first two items. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I hope that you see a wide range of products that you can shop for in different categories regardless of your size, regardless of what your taste is so that you can treat yourself like, honestly, if you wanna treat yourself, Feel free to do so. If you have money trauma, be like me, get a therapist, okay? Work on it and understand that you deserve nice things within your budget. The perfect way to think of this is what I did with the Fendi Baguette bag. I wanted the Fendi Baguette bag. I love the sheer and the look of it, but I felt like it was out of my budget. And so instead, I opted for a more affordable luxury item that gave me the same feel as the one that I really wanted until I feel like I can get to the place where I can buy that Fendi bag with no problem. So if you see anything here that's still out of your budget, don't feel discouraged. You can absolutely search for similar items and find dupes to them. I'll actually also post a link here where I rounded up some luxury item dupes on my LTK. Follow me over on LTK if you ever wanna shop any of the looks um, that you see me post on Instagram where I am definitely more active. Everything mentioned in this video will be linked down below. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know all of your thoughts. Let me know if any of the items you saw me mention are items that you have or that you want. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Fine, fine, no bucket. Watch your love for lucky. Why not?